Hi, this is Darren Drew from D. Drew Guitars. Today I'm going to show you how to level, crown, and polish your frets very quickly, very easily. So, first I remove the strings or push them off to the side, tape off the body so it doesn't get scratched. Then I will, I just use my eye to level the, um, the neck out. You know, they have the, the straight edges. I just use my eye. You know, the truss rod is right here on here. You turn it when, uh, you know, if it's bowed backwards, you turn it towards you. If it's got an up bow, push it away from you. A lot of the guitars have the truss rod adjustment right there under a little plastic piece. So I have the neck straight and I'm going to level it. I use a six inch block with 220 grit paper on it and the longer the block you have the flatter you're going to make the frets when you go to level them because um, you're covering more of a distance it takes longer to get you know that many more frets um, level at the same time if you use a real short one it's easy to get three frets level so i use a six inch and 220 on it and just sand on it until you see all of the fret tops that are sanded. A lot of people say, oh, use a Sharpie, whatever, you know, too much time, what a waste, and you can see when they're being sanded on or not. Okay, so that's good now. So what I'm going to use for crowning these frets is a tool I came up with, and it's fast, it's easy, it's consistent, it takes no brains to use. It's the easiest tool ever, and I see these videos that say the fastest or easiest, and yet they have a file in their hand. By far, files are not the fastest or the easiest. They take practice, skills. You know, um, <laughs> got to do a lot of them to become good at it using a file, plus consistency. And then you still have to, you know, polish them, check it with the rocker, and all those are hard on your hands and stuff. So this tool is very easy on your hands. I'll do this whole thing in less than five minutes or five, ten minutes, and it's flawless. It works perfect every time. So I'm looking at the clock. It's 148 now, and as you can see, this tool has two steel rods in it. I sink them past the center point so that they stay in the wood block. Um, the steel will never wear out like a file. I sell, I sell this for $40 on Amazon, Reverb, eBay. You get a free sanding or leveling block with it. You get four of the grits that you're going to need with it. So it's a complete kit. Okay, so here I go with the 120 grit paper. Follow the radius. And I let it go over just the side, just a touch to get the bevel. Makes it really nice and smooth. And this is so easy to use. It's just amazing. Works great for stainless steel press. Inlay safe. I move it on the pad just to use a different part of the pad. Down here, you want to do it like twice as much because you're only touching this area once. Up all this whole distance, you're touching it twice. And just let the tool do the work. And in most cases, all you have to do is go down and back per grit, and that's it. You have wider frets, or you have to, you know, level a lot, a lot off to get them all leveled. Then, you know, it, you may have to make three or four passes, wipe off all the dust that you've created. I use one eighty. And this tool is all is great for banjos and mandolins because they have a flat fretboard. This is also flat, keeps them perfectly flat all the way across. No matter how good you are with the file, you're still going to um, radius these ends a little bit. I, I know I've done thousands, and you know I know all this because I have in the past five years I have had ten thousand instruments go through my hands, and let's just call him a viewer. One viewer said, "All the luthiers in the world." put together wouldn't add up to the, be that many. Well, it just so happens I work on a company that imports instruments. And so 
I set up instruments all day long, eight hours a day, every day, and I crown, level crown, and polish every one of them. So that's how I know. That's how I get so many, that's how I've done so many guitars or mandolins, banjos. And I know this because I've done that many. Files took too long. They're too inconsistent. So I came up with this tool. It makes it very easy. And so, you know, and this also gets to the very last fret on a banjo. And it gets the little tiny frets on the nice part of the mandolin way down there. Okay, so 180 grit. You know, some guys just don't want to believe that it can be this easy to level crown and polish your frets all at the same time. This makes stainless steel frets very easy. Not a problem. Gold Evo frets are no problem. Just follow the radius. This also sands the fretboard, fretboard very nicely. Makes it nice and smooth, clean. Wipe this off again. Now I'll use the 220 pad. Let the tool do the work. You don't need to apply much pressure. 320 pad. Show me any other tool that, that crowns and polishes at the same time. And these frets will come out just as good, if not better, than any other frets you'll ever see out on the marketplace. I don't care, custom shop stuff, whatever. These will be um, just as good. They may not be as shiny, but be one super shiny. Take it to a buffing wheel. It'll polish right up. Polish doesn't last very long on them, though. Okay, there's the 320. So now what I'll do is use the 320 pad going in this direction. And you'll be able to see scratches in this you know, going in this direction if you miss any places. And usually the 320 will take care of it. If not, just go back to your 220, start from there and go with it. You know, one area alone. Now, just for your sake, I'm going to tech it with the rocker. There should not be any rockers any place on it. A high fret any place. I, I normally don't check it because I, I have before many times and it comes out perfect, flawless crown frets every time. And some guys I've seen, they, oh yeah, let's check and see if you have high frets. Well, they go in three places. That's not checking to see if you have a high fret in your place. Check the whole fret all the way across. You have six strings, you use the whole fret. Check the, the whole fret to see if you have any high spots on it, any place. And, you know, so those guys are, well, supposedly professionals, but... You know, checking it in only three places. You, you don't have three strings. Come on, guys. See, not a, not a high spot on there. So now I will take some denatured alcohol on the rag. Clean this off. You can use Windex. This dries a little bit quicker. You want to get all that dust and grime in there. Get it out. Make it nice and clean. Take a rag. Just dust it, dust it like this. It makes the wood nice and smooth and shiny. And also the threads. Now I will use mineral oil. It's you can buy a whole big bottle of it for a dollar at uh, any drugstore. You can use fretboard oil. It's a lot more expensive. You can use furniture oil, but mineral oil, you know, for the, 
Buy one a dollar bottle of it and it'll last you a lifetime. Work this in. Get close to all the frets. And there you're done. It's that quick and that easy to have perfectly crowned and polished frets in the matter of 156, eight minutes. And I was talking a lot in between. Eight minutes to have perfectly crowned and polished frets guaranteed every time. Yeah, they're very nice. All the way, very all the way down, very consistent. So please like and share. Uh, and subscribe. I'll teach you some more stuff later. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.